Universe all around the world. This is F Expression broadcasting you live on YouTube, and this is Forex Training Course 101. We are in September of December, <laughs> not September, December 16, 2019. And remember the three pillars. We are trying to build a strategy and or a system. We are trying to understand how risk management hey, works. And this was the echo sorry about that and the last one <clears throat> the big one the psychology part if this is your first time everybody we are passed over the basic module the beginner module the intermediate module and the advanced module so if this is your first time and it's quite difficult to understand how the why and the where go please back to the Ducas Copy YouTube webinar page and start to watch Forex Trading Course 101 starting from lesson 1 <coughs> remember 90% of traders lose money in the Forex market worldwide and the webinars are not hello Miguel the webinars are not investment or trading advice the webinars are for educational purposes only and for homeworks, hello Annie, and for homeworks and or questions you have my Gmail contact, my Skype contact and my LinkedIn contact. Also remember I have a 20 seconds delay on the chat, hello MHB. Everybody this is our last week together before we go on vacation so we should continue with the trader psychology series. So let me ask you before how can I help you everybody? let's say that this week we are going to do something different we are not going to follow the title so tell me what do you want to train what is your question what are your doubts what do you want to see what do you want to try what do you want to test everybody or should we go hello time to shine or should we go should we continue with the trader psychology series Tell me everybody, this is my gift to you for 2020. This week, how can I help you? What do you want to talk about? Or what, do, what is your question? And yes, remember I have a 20 second delay on the chat. Should we check some currencies? Should we do the Forex trading week? okay this is my present for you to you for 2020 what do you want to check what do you want to see what is your question or do you want to continue with the trader psychology series and remember everybody first comes first is served so if you're going to have some request we're going to one by one by one by one Presents. <laughs> what kind of presents do you want? <laughs> what kind of presents do you want? Time to shine. Indicator with trading week. What kind of indicator? I would like to see how you break down pairs from top to bottom. You mean how I analyze the pairs? I'm uh, not sure time to but I think we talked about this already. <coughs> okay everybody tell me a currency pair so we can start. Crown trading, great. Tell me a currency pair, okay? And we are going to check indicators and crown. Tell me a currency pair everybody. Okay. So this week prepare your this week we are not going to follow titles this week prepare your questions okay AUD USD okay let's open AUD USD just give me a second one two three four okay this is one this is two here is going down one two three four okay 
So we are going to open AUD USD and we are going to do the indicators, the crowns, the trading, the moving average. Okay. And tomorrow again, if you are not going to have any questions, we are going to continue. So monthly chart down here we are going to open the weekly chart weekly chart just give it a second so AUD USD am I streaming let me see if I'm on yes I am streaming still AUD USD weekly chart there you go next is going to be the so this is going to be AUD USD monthly chart AUD USD weekly chart next let's open template <clears throat> I will be away today is no problem Miguel we're going to be back after January 15 daily chart and the last one so AUD USD daily chart and the last one is going to be AUD USD AUD USD let me see 4 hour chart ok ok let's go everybody so monthly chart breakdown I don't have the pivot points right and I don't have the support and resistance levels on this chart ok so tell me everybody long term and short term what is the direction you are seeing AUD is the monthly chart what is the short term and what is the long term direction okay so and of course we're talking about crowns already okay now we don't have a crystal ball right but for the traders who are following AUD USD AUD USD it was it was retracing for quite a bit of time okay and MHB wants the stochastic so add indicators stochastic RSI okay. oh not on this one maybe we are not going to use stochastic on the monthly okay down downtrend when you trade with Fibonacci can you say something about how long are you in a trade on average and how many pips you make on average so in general not specific it depends any okay I can stay one day and I can stay a month in the Fibonacci and pips depends on the C it depends on the C right so breakdown AUD, AUD USD we have a down Fibonacci original one and we have the trend lines right so long term the market is down what I'm missing I'm missing the pivot points and the support and resistance levels from the monthly right and about the indicators so we had the EMA cross here so background color there you go so this was a no-brainer everybody right the market was retracing until of this counter trendline break and you you had the EMA cross and not the perfect one but you had also the MACD cross okay but we are here right now we are here right now and the market is sideways and you are going to see sideways movement because the length of the candles is going to be the same so you have three bodies the white body the blue body and the white body again right so this market is sideways right now until proved contrary okay 
but still the Fibonacci is down right and what is going to happen or the mark is going to fall or the mark is going to retrace further up but the indicator did not cross at the retracement yes it did Miguel look at MACD here it crossed see past retracement the, the indicator crossed see MACD and the MACD crossed again here right remember everybody what Stoyan said the market is not moving because of the indicators but the indicators are moving because of the market so don't expect first the indicator to cross and then the market to follow expect first the market to move oh here not yet yes so one or two things are going to happen maybe three one the first thing the market is going to continue in the sideways channel number two if the market is going to break up and we learned about this we need to check what resistance right so where is past resistance this is past resistance i'm missing the majority of them but okay so this is one of the past resistance this is past resistance this is past resistance right and we don't know what we can do we can monitor the market and when the market is going to change the short term trend on the daily then it's going to fall again so number one is the sideways movement number two the market can go up and then with the counter trend line break again it's going to fall or the market is going to fall right and we need to be careful when the market hits the D extension right now this is from the monthly let's go on the weekly chart weekly chart there you go so we have the MACD we are not using the stochastic not yet right and we are here right now so this was the retracement from the monthly chart there you go and here the market broke our downtrend line there you go right and we don't have a crown reversal not yet so for the ones who are trying to understand crowns and crown reversal this is the left tip center here and this is the projected right tip if if the market is going to move further up as we talked about and oh let me check one more thing so i'm going to do it like this and so this is the down Fibonacci and on the other side everybody when the counter trend line break occurred the first one so where is the crown the crown is here this was the left tip center lower low right tip and the market was falling see the crown everybody so left tip center tip right tip and crown color yellow so this was the crown now what's the problem for the majority of beginner traders everybody most of us we don't have enough patience right why do we lose money everybody we lose the money in here inside in here because we are trading on the one hour chart 15 minute chart two hour chart and we want to earn fast you know and get rich quick and everything you know most of us we don't have enough patience to wait for the market to position itself so we don't have a crown reversal everybody i'm going to delete this one we don't have the crown reversal we, we can project a crown reversal 
and we have two Fibonacci. The first level we need to be careful is the Fibonacci of the confirmation, and the second level is the original Fibonacci, which is down here. And it's also the monthly the extension. So we have three Fibonacci levels to pay attention. First one is the Fibonacci of the confirmation, second one is the weekly Fibonacci, the original one, and the third is the monthly the extension. Right? So what is happening right now? Well, let's delete this one. You know, right now the market is making higher highs, higher lows, short term. Higher highs, higher lows. Right? And what can we do? We can draw a contrarian Fibonacci like this. Let me see if I can change the parameters. <clears throat> not this one, not this one, remove. Okay, I don't have most of them, no problem. So if you want everybody, but it's going to be risky, we address this, right? We learned about the contrarian Fibonacci and the conformity, right? And let's talk about crowns. So we can project a crown. If this is going to be the center tip, well, this is going to be the lower low, and this is going to be the crown. Time to shine is asking, can we just use crowns to help identify direction change? No. No, you cannot, no, you cannot use crown to identify direction change. Crowns are reversal points, everybody. But they are not showing you direction. You know, as we talked about in an uptrend, in an uptrend you are going to have higher highs, higher lows, higher highs, higher lows, and you are going to have crowns, and you are going to, let's call this in black, and you are going to have crown reversals and you are going to have crowns and you are going to have crown reversals whoops so the crowns that you should be trading everybody's a beginner trader are those one together with market structure and the market wave you can trade against the trend, against the Fibonacci, yes you can, but this is risky everybody. Why would you increase your technical risk? And we learned about this already. Okay, time to shine. Can we just use crown to help identify direction change? No. The answer is no. Because you can use a crown in here and you are going to think that oh I'm in a downtrend no we are not we are in an uptrend higher highs structural higher highs and higher lows right so this is the weekly chart long term bias still down short term we are up the market is making higher highs higher lows so if you're a beginner trader everybody or monitor the market stay out until the market crowns or go long and trade the contrarian Fibonacci it's up to you daily chart let's compress the chart A, B, C, D now we have the stochastic here MHB right and it goes the same way so the market broke our down trend line the market's making higher highs higher lows right now let me see which one is the lower low this one is the lower low so where is the crown crown reversal left tip center higher high this was the signal everybody and i'm going to delete this one this one right i have some pivot points and monthly support so if you want to trade crown everybody now this is a crown that goes against the contrary fibonacci 
Is the retracement low starting structure? Now, weekly chart. Is the retracement low starting structure? Oh, you mean if the retracement is starting? We don't know, maybe yes, maybe no. But to be sure, I need this is the high. This is the structural high. Okay, any? Market way, everybody. We learned about this, remember? You know, low, high, whoops. Low, high, low, high, low. Okay? Not all highs and lows are structure, but all structure are highs and lows. So this is the structural high on the weekly chart. So the retracement is starting on the daily, but not yet on the weekly. The market can hit a resistance here and fall down or can hit the next resistance without breaking the structural high and still fall down. Can you please refresh the difference in between the Fibonacci swing and the crown Fibonacci? Yes, sir. The crown Fibonacci goes on the right side on the crown. So, if this is the left tip in here this is the left tip let's call it code in yellow something like this if this is the left tip and this is the center tip higher high this is the center tip okay and this is the left tip so the Fibonacci crown goes on the right side of the center tip Miguel okay and if you would trade this everybody okay now this was a nice trade from the daily chart and for the one who are wondering about the indicators look in here it was a nice counter trend line break see was a counter this is a, a book setup everybody you had the counter trend no I didn't trade it no but this was a counter trend line break with the bullish candlestick formation bullish engulfing candle stochastic was in the buy zone and also the MACD crossed the lines and also it hit the 3A2 Fibonacci retracement right it doesn't get better than this everybody this is the perfect setup and then the market reversed and start making higher highs higher lows can I draw a control and besides now this is this is the Fibonacci on the crown remember you shouldn't mix strategies right now I'm going to delete the crown I'm going just leave the Fibonacci delete 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 the higher highs now if you would use the normal normal Fibonacci you would and let's we're going to change transparency now the other Fibonacci everybody would go here this will be the A to B the first one right and second Fibonacci would be here this would be the second one and we are still in the second one I'm going to delete this one this is the first can I draw a contrarian besides the crown Miguel I wouldn't suggest you to do this because you are going to pollute your your chart you should use everybody, you should choose one strategy and trade one strategy. 
because if you have two Fibonacci's on the chart then most likely you are going to mix entries right but as I said what's the problem with the beginner traders we don't have patience right why do we lose we lose because we are trading in here and we are trading up in here and we are trading down in here we are trading this noise where in reality we should uh, choose one or two strategies and wait for the market to position I mean it doesn't get much better than this everybody you had here what triple bottom one two three triple bottom you can bet the market is going to okay of course we don't have the crystal ball and there are no guarantees but when this happens everybody you can bet something is going to happen and if you have enough patience to wait to wait for the right setup it doesn't matter if you are going to use the Fibonacci or the crown right now what challenging we should monitor the currency so this was the higher high and this was the setup to enter see everybody counter trend line break with the bullish engulfing candle stochastic in the buy zone and also the MACD cross the line and of course we need to manage our trade right so as beginner traders even though the Fibonacci our long term direction is down on the monthly chart and our long term direction is down according to the Fibonacci's on the weekly chart we can trade crowns, crown reversals right on the daily chart passion but I don't like going against the Fibonacci no problem no problem but when you talk about convergences reasons to enter or not to enter everybody we had another great setup it was not a crown but this one in here right when it happened everybody we don't have the crystal ball but when it happened the counter trend line break here counter trend line break stochastic was in the sell zone not in here but where is the circle stochastic was in the sell zone and also the MACD crossed this was, this was also a nice setup to go short right if you would wait for the crown you would be late to the part everybody right because this would be the left tip this would be the center tip and this would be the right tip right remember Fibonacci's are not 100% crowns are not 100% but this here the buy opportunity was a nice setup you can use original Fibonacci on the charts but then when crown Fibonacci as well on the reversals yes sir absolutely yes absolutely yes but if you don't you if you don't want to use crowns no problem see so what do we have here we have a counter trend line going up in here and you can similarly to the weekly chart you can project the crown left tip center it's a higher high so you can project the crown on your chart and wait and put an alarm on the chart if you want boss I we learn hedging after January 20 
we are going to see MHB because hedging is extremely dangerous technique you can burn your account twice faster if you don't know how to use it okay we are going to try and ch we are going to at least try to learn but hedging everybody it's a dangerous place if you are not emotionally stable if you don't obey the rules you are going to burn your account twi twice faster two times faster especially beginner traders are using hedging in the wrong way you know they are going against the trend against the trend against the trend they are going hedging 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 and they increase the risk increase the risk increase the risk so MHB hopefully yes but we need to be careful how to use alerts right click Miguel right click set price alert do you see right click set price alert see Miguel and then you click and then you can move your your you can move your price alert so if the market is going to hit your price alert it's going to give you a signal now for the traders who want to trade oh uh, this is AUD USD for our chart let's open and let's wait so we have a down Fibonacci still original one and now we have the contrarian right contrarian Fibonacci for our chart or the two hour chart let's go on the two, two one hour chart I don't have so let's add our two hour chart there you go I miss this no problem so it alerts you before it gets to the take profit yes sir you are going to choose the area of the alert Miguel so Fibonacci retracement just quickly so this is the first one this is the first one and this is the second one time to shine did you understand the breakdown of the currency pair 3A2 okay I need to adjust the Fibonacci everybody just give me a second so this is going to be black and this is going to be red and this is going to be green green this is going to remove this is going to be black and we are going to add 118 is going to be and 127 one two seven is going to be blue this is going to be green and we need the 14 percent so 14 percent and this one is going to be 21.4 the blue one let me see 786 correct 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 okay there you go so red goes to red now this is okay and so original Fibonacci save save okay there you go so this is the 2 hour chart and let me see ok the, mar the market broke my Fibonacci so this would be a loss for me right so we need to start again here we need to start again 
Question, what do you think about crowns? Well, I use Fibonacci's on the crown <clears throat> and this is why you know if you are trading everybody if you are trading with the Fibonacci on the crown or the crown reversal you are not going to lose in here why not because your Fibonacci on the daily chart is positioned like this this is your Fibonacci on the daily chart and you wouldn't fall for the smaller one but you would wait you would wait everybody and again of course there is no right or wrong I cannot tell you oh use this don't use this you know but if you are using this Fibonacci on the crown you are going to start your Fibonacci here so you wouldn't have this loss from the up Fibonacci on the 2 hour chart yes Miguel you can have as many alerts if, uh, as you want so now, now we have this Fibonacci and if I want to trade and lower my my risk I'm going to trade the up swings until it until the market breaks so this would be the second one something like this so we are in this trade right now what else can we do well we can draw a contrary Fibonacci and we don't have a conformed C no trade for us on the two hour chart risk reward is bad but from the daily right from the daily so let's where is transparency there you go so let's delete this one this was the opportunity everybody in here now the train has left the station right now not even from the daily chart it's useful for you to trade and again when you miss the trade everybody don't worry go find another currency pair you know don't go long in here why not because the risk reward is not okay everybody 2020 is approaching right wow nice feature 2020 is approaching you are not moving anywhere everybody until we learn to follow the rules wouldn't you agree we are not going anywhere until we start following the rules whoops 40 and there you go not the best colors but still okay this is a new feature I think <clears throat> okay everybody any other currency pair you want to talk about so we can talk about indicators and crowns and the currency breakdown but it's always the same basically you know what is our problem we don't follow the rules we don't have a plan right we know that we should enter in here and we are going if we are going to miss this one game over from the daily standpoint maybe I can re-enter on the one two hour chart or maybe not but AUD USD right now we don't have an entry from the daily and we don't have an entry from the two hour chart right now if the market reverses enough it's okay but we need to pay attention if and when this happens right and remember everybody many traders ask me what is the one of the most important 
psychological thing that you would suggest to a trader the most important thing is to be always aware that this is a probability game you know so if you lose one so what you have 99 more you know so you can have a crown and still lose or you can have a crown reversal and still lose you know maybe we're going to have crown on the two hour chart and we are going to sell the counter trend and break you know and the market is going to do what this one and we are going to lose now the answer is so what right but of course at the beginning it's not that easy we need to understand the puzzle you know how the structure works together with the market wave and the pivot points and the support resistance and the higher time frame controls the smaller time frame and uh, technical risk and where is the greatest probability together with our strategy and system and the rules and nonetheless about our emotions and psychology when you understand this and when you practice 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 most likely you are going to make it everybody now what's the what's the bad news if you don't practice 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 most likely you aren't going to make it never ever ever hello Akos how are you Akos we decided this is the last week we are together before we go on vacation we are decided not to follow the the title list but we decided every day until Friday you are going to say to me what would you like to see what would you like to learn you know and of course is everything if there would be no request we are going to move with the psychology part any other currency pair everybody what is the other currency pair that we can talk about crowns and how to trade crowns and indicators and how to break down the currency pairs uh, what is uh, <laughs> why are you sad Akos if you want psychology just type I want psychology no problem I want to learn divergence what kind of divergence Euro GBP yes any so let's go on Euro GBP Euro GBP Euro GBP Euro GBP Euro GBP and Euro GBP there you go we're going to just open the charts hopefully what kind of divergence Akos divergence or or convergence Euro GBP where are you monthly first and Euro GBP oh I have the pivot points great Euro GBP Euro GBP weekly chart and templates open Akos I don't know divergence believe it or not I never learned I never never learned I learned about convergences but divergences I never learned so I'm sorry I cannot help you there Euro GBP monthly chart let's see monthly chart 
so most likely we are positioned to go up everybody remember these webinars are not trading advice right now the market hit the pivot point and it's moving up slowly it's reversing and this is the December candle I believe are you watching divergence only in the area of oversold or overbought or any levels if you if you are talking about stochastic I'm looking just on overbought oversold divergence can you have on MACD RSI and stochastic I'm using MACD just for direction when is the euro going to reverse in the euro GBP let's see let's see so we are sideways the market hit so this is the sideways movement everybody and remember the GBP pairs has I mean they have a fundamental risk it's called Brexit so don't forget about this but we are in this sideways movement and the market hit the pivot point and looks like it's reversing make this still down though but this is the monthly chart let's go on the weekly chart where we have the same pivot points see everybody now down trend line let's call code this is one make it like this there you go and one more digressive one aggressive one it's here okay so the market hit the pivot point and looks like it's forming a low MACD is falling down so we need to monitor this did you get my screenshot for, for my gain? yes, yes, congratulations everybody what is the risk? the risk is here, this is the risk, the technical risk what do I expect? remember I don't have the crystal ball and the GBP pairs are subjected to the fundamental risk it's called Brexit but I'm expecting the market to move up in here until the upper band okay this is my projection now we don't have any crowns and indicators are not ready yet on the weekly chart let's go on the daily so we can check the where are we here there you go so we can check the stochastic and the others right make this stochastic there you go so crown right we need to draw the crown reversal crown reversal where is going to be let me see left so high and lows left tip center tip this is the projected crown everybody remember these webinars are not trading or investment advice but what I'm going to do personally and maybe I'm wrong I'm going to wait for the market to make a higher high in here to make a higher high in here and I'm going to draw a Fibonacci on the crown reversal and then I'm going to trade it up this is what I'm going to do and stop loss no exceptions down here this is going to be my stop loss okay again why do we lose money we lose money because some of us are already in the trade some of us are already buying euro GBP some of us are already long and I know some of us <laughs> and I know some of you <laughs> passion I'm long too soon 
Oh, but it's forming a low. It's too soon to go long. We don't know what is going to happen. I am conservative and I am up 10% in 3 months on demo. Congratulations. I hope I can begin a real trade in 2020. I have to sell my stocks. I have to watch webinar the next 2 days. I am working other times. Congratulations. And lastly, the 2 hour chart. 2 hour chart. This is the 2 hour chart and the projected crown or crown reversal left tip center this is the projected crown okay this is the projected crown this is going to be the fibonacci man i need to resolve this transparency invisible stroke Whoops, I don't know how to change the colors. This is a new feature, okay, no problem. <clears throat> and this is going to be the up trend line. When it happens, down here. Okay, everybody, there is no time to check another currency pair. Remember this week, this is my present to you. This week we are we are not going to follow the title list, okay? Every day, I mean we are going to follow if you don't have any questions, but every day if you have questions, please ask, okay? What do you want to see? What do you want to trade? What do you want to test? What questions do you have? Okay? This is our last week before our vacation. Okay, everybody, see you back tomorrow. Stay strong and trade with passion. This is FX Passion signing off.